for big companies with a lot of designations and employees, it gets confusing at times. If you could carry it along a hierarchy template, it gets easier to understand. Even for people outside the company, the distribution of designation and work becomes clearer. As for employees, they can reach out to required personnel for a specific query or task. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VB related answers. Here are two datasets, one with seven employees and their positions and other with six executives name, their department and their revenue. Using this, we will learn how to create hierarchy in Excel. We will discuss three methods by using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In our first method, we will use the smart art feature to create a hierarchy. Now let's select our hierarchy values, which is B5 to B11. Use Ctrl C to copy the values. Now go to insert tab and from the illustrations group, choose smart art. Let's move it somewhere here. Now from the hierarchy category, you can choose any of these templates. Let's go along with this one. Okay. On the screen, we can see our template. Let's move it. Here we can see a small arrow within the left side of our template. Click on it and we get a context menu. Click on Ctrl A to select all the values. And now, as we have copied our data set, press Ctrl V to paste it here. Now we can see that all our values are added within the template. Now within our hierarchy, our top level position is CEO. After that, we will have Sales Manager and then Finance Manager. So click on Sales Manager. Now press the Tab key from your keyboard. And you can see that we have Sales Manager below CEO already. Now click on Sales Executive 1 who will work under Sales Manager. Press on Tab key twice. Use the same process for Sales Executive 2. Now Finance Manager will work under CEO. So use Tab key once. And for executive one two, using the same process, tap twice. Now we can see our template more conveniently, right? Let's move it within the center of our screen and we can see Smarter Design tab and Format tab from the ribbon. From the Smarter styles or the layouts, you can change this into any layouts or from styles, you can choose different styles for your hierarchy. In our second method, we will utilize pivot table to create hierarchy. Now select B4 to D10 and from the insert tab and tables group choose pivot table. Here we can see our range is selected. You can get the pivot table in a new worksheet. Let's get it in the existing worksheet. As for location, let's select F4. Okay. Now we can see the fields of pivot table section within the right side of our screen. Here select team and executive and it will go to rows field within the pivot table select revenue to get it in the values field now close this section finally you get the hierarchy of different teams you can easily show who works in which team or department also show their revenue you can also minimize them like that to get a general overview In this method, we will use Power Pivot to create hierarchy. For that, we need to enable Power Pivot tab first. In case you don't have it, you need to enable it. Right click on the ribbon and go to customize the ribbon. Here from the Excel options, you need to make sure that this button is on. In case it's like that, you will not have your Power Pivot tab. Make sure to check mark this box. OK. And you get to your Power Pivot tab. Now let's select our data set B4 to D10 and from the tables group choose add to data model. Let's drag it here. Dialog box is asking to create a table. If you format your data set into table beforehand, you will not get this warning. Now our cell range is OK and my table has headers. OK. Now we can see our power pivot window. Here, let's name our table to power. Now from the home tab under the view group, click on diagram view and we get our column headers here. Now from the top right section, click on create hierarchy. 
Now we can see that hierarchy one is created. Now select all of these and drag them within hierarchy one. And we can see that hierarchy one is added with all the table headers. Let's go to pivot table now. Let's drag it here. Now you can create a pivot table from the existing worksheet into a new worksheet or the existing worksheet. Let's go along with existing worksheet and our power pivot will start from F4. Okay. Now we can see that pivot table section is added here. To get the field section, let's go to pivot table analyze and from the show tab click on field list and we get the field section within the right side of our screen. Click on the power arrow choose hierarchy one and from more fields let's click on revenue and we can see all the executives sum of revenue now we are seeing the executives name rather than team name in case you want to change that and get the team names here let's go to the power pivot again choose team over executives and close the window and we can see that our pivot table is arranged and we can extend them just like that. From these methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of course. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share this video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.